Hello, fellow future corpses. I am Will Botch, and this is the Complex Pound Footage. What is the Complex Pound Footage? Experience the liminal world of the back rooms through a VHS camera, immersing yourself into a mysterious story and wandering to dreamlike structures. Might there be something following you? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, it's a backrooms game, and I like backroom stuff. So we are going to go travel to the backrooms. Are you sure? Back or begin? I don't know. I guess begin. Let's do this. 1990. Oh, there we go. Oh, the complex. That cough sounds familiar. Hello. Oh, that familiar muffled VHS camera sound and the smell of that wet carpet. Oh, hello. Oh, we got designs on the walls now. This is like a fancier back room. Oh, look, we got our. Yep, that's muffled. Hello! I have seemed to have slipped into the back room somehow. Is there anyone back there? I can zoom. Maybe. I did. I did it for a second, I think. Hello? Hello? Oh, I don't trust that. That feels way too soon to be going to something like that, don't you think? Huh? I feel like it's way too soon to be going to new areas. I just got here. I feel like I need to run around here for a little bit, you, you know. So, so much noise is happening. All right. Uh, I kind of want to go explore that now because I ran around this whole uh, area and I seem to can't find a way into that area. So let's go explore it. I guess. Hello. 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 What is this place? Hello? Seems to be a drop of some sort. I can't jump. What is this place? Okay, so I was thinking because it was a new area, looking area, I thought maybe it would be like a transition to a new uh, level. As with other backrooms games, once you see like a new uh, paper on the walls or floor, it kind of be like, you're going in the right direction. You found something new. I'm just going to run right down the middle. Hello? Hello? I think you can get the chills a little bit. Is there a peak? There is no peak. Oh, the paper here looks a little different. Hello? Oh, what's this? Hello? Well, I did need to go grocery shopping, I guess. I don't like how dark it is in this area. Hello? Freshly frozen foods. Fantastic. Hello? Too bad I didn't come in with a flashlight. Kind of add some more spookiness to it. What's in here? Oh, a lamp. It's gotta be a good sign, right? It's a lamp and a balcony. Hello. Where are you? I don't think I can crouch. Oh, I can crouch very weirdly. I definitely take my time to do it. It's nice, smooth, at, uh, flowing action of my crouch. Run up the stairs, run down the stairs. 
I guess I was doing that for safety? My character just like went slow down the stairs. I guess it's a good idea not to trip. Nothing there. Hello? Got new down there. Let's go to the new! Oh, now we're on wooden floors. Oh, what's back here? Nothing. A big old bunch of nothing. Let's go ahead and see if we can crouch under this. All right. So we got different wall textures and we have a different floor. A pillow fort? Can I crouch under this? Do I want to be able to crouch under this? Hello? Maybe if I can get all the way over here, I can stand back up. Hello? Oh, that was nothing. I'm back to where I started. Fantastic. Oh, I got like extra noises there for some reason. I'm going upstairs. Going down the stairs. Safely, of course. I don't want to slip. Want to take my time. Don't want to fall and scuff your knee in the back rooms. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Whatever this is about. Mm-hmm. Nope. 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 Excuse me? Why is there noises? Why is there noises? Okay, can't interact with any of that. Why do we got noises? I'm going upstairs. That's the way to go if you want to be alive in horror movies, right? Is always go up the stairs. All right, gotta safely go down the stairs. Okay, I can either have the dark way or the light way. Of course, I'm going to the darkness. I don't know if I want to go to the darkness now. I don't know if I should be running. Protect my chair. Oh, 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 I hear noises. I gotta get the hell out of there. How are you? Random pole? All right, let's go ahead and get in this elevator. Okay, so maybe the elevators is our way of uh, getting to the next level. So that's what we need to watch out for is elevators. Well, that was kind of creepy. Like, I did get some chills there. I'm not sure if there was a monster behind us. Oh, no, thank you. I would prefer not to be here. The pool's levels. My f most loved and hated level. Because, like, the pulse levels can be so beautiful. Like, the color of the water, the lights coming in through, like, these windows and stuff, the water textures. It can be so beautiful. But I fucking hate it. I don't like water in horror games. No, thank you. I'll take the long route. Oh, I can't run either. Can I take one of the pots? Oh, now I can run. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of all the extra sounds. Okay, we got signs. It says, no bikes. Okay. We cannot bike down here. Yeah, I'm not going under there. You're nuts. The hell? The hell's going on in here? Yeah, this is like... Oh. 
sticks. Yeah, it's like absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's why I love the pools areas. They can be so like, uh, they can, it has like that good like liminal giant spacing that can be like very beautiful. Especially when they start throwing an extra ambience into it, like sounds and. Okay, I cannot take this way. And like uh, making like little water features and stuff is something like I always love doing like in Minecraft. Just like making random pools and uh, fountains and stuff. So I don't know why, just like seeing like random things like this kind of takes me back to that. Those doors or? I probably shouldn't jump. I don't know if I can even jump down there. Oh, are we done already? Oh, that's a bummer. This feels like I got here. I just talked about how much I love the pools level. All right. Oh, oh, it's this button that lets me zoom. Okay, so left click lets me zoom in and the right click zooms out. I tried hitting T for torch, F for flashlight, but apparently I don't have one. Oh, that's a bummer. Because, like, if I already found the elevator, I might as well go to it. Dating hall. Oh, so many memories and places like this in the backrooms games. From Mothman murdering me to uh, skin st stealers to... Yeah, let's not go down that way. Let's go down this like very cramped tight corridor. That sounds smart. Hello? They're like the... I could not have found the exit already. That is not the exit. There's no way. There's no way. I just got here. There's no way. They would not make it that easy. Let's go test that theory. There's no way. There's no way. Because I feel like they would have like made the exit a lot farther. That I wouldn't be able to find it so fast. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. No. But I feel like, uh, uh, unless that level's... It feels like they're, like, uh... If you're going to create all that extra area, you wouldn't put the exit so close for me to find. So that way I would be forced to explore the area more. Like, make me look for it for like 10 to 20 minutes. But I know me. I know if I don't take that elevator, I'm never finding it again. I will literally be lost for hours, even though I was just there, because my sense of direction in games is garbage. But I want to keep exploring. That's why I love, like, Backrooms games like this. So far, there hasn't been any danger. Just, like, creeps, chills, and unsettling, unsettling ambience. And that makes me just want to keep populating. It makes me want to just keep exploring more and more. That's something I love about Backrooms games, that they can just be, like, endlessly walking through, like, interesting areas. I don't need, like, having danger or something like chase me is fun. As long as I'm not having to, like, repeat over and over again. But even, like, this, just exploring around, is just fun.
Chemical storage. Okay, I'm, I'm aware that the elevator is over there, but I do not want to take the elevator. I want to go look around. It bothers me that I'm finding these elevators so fast. Especially when I'm trying to see if there's anything else in this. Back here. Let's go towards the sound. Hello? Oh, what's back here? What's back here? I'm never finding an exit ever again, by the way. This is the price we pay. Oh, I got an itch. Ah! There we go. If I find... If I find the elevator again, I'll take it. Only because I'll probably never find it again after that. But yeah, I just want to see what's more in this world. Like, I'm sad I found the elevator so fast than the other ones. But I also didn't want to get lost for ages. Unless the maps are actually that small. I'm used to like ridiculously huge backrooms maps that like you just run around forever. You never really find a way out. I apparently can't fit through that. As a no fit zone for me. Okay, so we know if we go back there, that'll lead us to the elevator. And is this just another? Yeah, this must be. I think this is the same way we were just in. Let's go. Is there anything back here or is it all the same? <gasps> what was that? What was that? What was that? Did you see that? Did you... S or was that just a game loading something? Or a texture? Well, it looked like... Like, behind that... Behind one of these pillars. I can't remember which one. But it looked like two, like, wispy... Like, wispy, like, fabric... -y fabric -y thing just went whoosh. okay here's an air elevator okay well might as well take it yeah if I actually saw something back there I'll, I'll stop and like point it out better but yeah it looked like something just went like whoosh. So I don't know if it's like the game, a texture, or if there was something actually there. Hello? Well, I don't like this. I'm automatically not a fan of this thing right here. Oh, cool. It's an outdoors back rooms level. Uh, F, G, T, E, nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone home? Oh, cool. Some of the houses are open. Happy birthday. I can't reread that. Something, something, when you... Something, something. Oh, I thought, like, uh, when I first came in here and I heard uh, the, like, boop, 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 boop part, I thought it was someone, like, walking. I was supposed to be like, oh, no. I wish I had some form of a flashlight so I could see a little bit better. Okay, double pink house. Well, that was a cool little area. I wish I could have went into more of the houses and explored. Waiting to see something like run down the street at me. Hey, 
Yeah, I kind of wish I had a flashlight so I could at least see those fences a little better or know if there was a, whoa, a way for me to get up there or not. A snow level? Man, the back of us has everything. Ah, now I'm just cold. I got false chills because now I'm cold seeing this. Hello? Y'all got a fireplace in here? You guys got a space heater? Hello? There's nothing in that house. Hello? It's a mite bit chilly out here. Oh, sweet. Well, who left these? And because it like populates with random items and stuff like that, who knows if... Oh, okay. I don't want to go there yet. Who knows? Like, was that already in the back rooms or uh, was that someone else who happened to come here? Not the showers in the back rooms. Well, before I go, let me explore this yellow house. Who don't like that ceiling? Huh? Okay. Grab my butt against it. Oh, shit. I didn't realize this was an opening. All right, well, I guess that's it. Unless there's something on the other side of this house. Nope. Just a vast, wonderful winter wasteland. I guess we'll go ahead and go down. Bing. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. That sound good. Oh, 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 that's not good. 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 Zoom in. Zoom in to our death. Ow. My leg. Am I back in the real world? Magwave Research Institute. The complex found footage. Game created by I Isar Leo. Music by Fairside Lure. Extra. Blah. Blah. Some areas heavily inspired by Kane Pixel's back room. I don't know what that is. I sh maybe I should look that up. PG Wave. This game is not based on any previous established backroom cannons. Consider this. All right, cool. A new take on backrooms. All right, so that was uh, the complex found footage. I like backrooms games, and I have a love for found footage horror, so awesome. Had to try it out. But yeah, this was pretty fun. Like, I don't think there was any uh, danger to the game because I would have probably found it. I'm good at finding how to die in games. And there didn't seem to be an apparent way for me to die. Uh, so it seems like it's more just sort of a walking simulator. But that's fine. Like it. It's back room. So I enjoy it. I had fun playing through it. I enjoyed exploring all the areas. I was a little bit bummed. that I found some of the exits so quickly. But that's that's not a fault on the game or anything like that. Because I know myself. 
and I know I will get lost and never find their elevator. But I'm kind of wondering if there's like multiple elevators on each level. So if you dared to go explore a little bit outside that area, you would end up finding another elevator. And then I don't know how big the maps were either. Because that one didn't seem too big when I was like, well, let's go explore a little bit more. Because I don't want to blow through this so quickly. Uh, we end up finding our elevator, but it didn't seem like the map was that big. There was creepy sounds, and it did sound like there was danger in the game. Or at least it alluded to like the illusion of danger. Which uh, did creep me out and made me a little bit more uh, panicky and paranoid at points. It looked good. I enjoyed how it looked. It sounded good. It, the pool levels look nice. I ha that's that's a, that's like my my bar. I rate it on the pools level, and then I go on the other stuff. So the pools level looked pretty cool, and there were some uh, different levels. Like uh, the hotel area was pretty cool. The little like supermarket area was pretty interesting, even though it was like going one little small area, but it was still a cool area. I don't know if I've played like a backroom supermarket kind of thing. Backroom supermarket simulator. But uh, it was cool. I liked it. It was a fun little backrooms game. It did creep me out, but also hit that little like that urge to keep exploring. So overall, it was it was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. If you want to give this game a shot yourself, link will be down below. If you made it this far, why not like, comment, subscribe, do whatever your brain beats desires. Thank you for wasting some time, and I will catch you later.